Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here with another episode of Food Beyond Its Nutrition. Guys, I've got one for you today. Creamy rose water tahini dressing that is so versatile, so unique and delicious. Okay guys, this is my tahini rose water salad dressing with um, some parsley that seems to be sinking. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. The actual nutty flavor of the tahini comes through. It, 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 it's a unique, hmm, it's a unique flavor. Having the rose water in here, you don't taste it immediately, but there's this after kick and you taste it. It's absolutely, for me, it's absolutely delicious. Really easy to make and it's really versatile. It's absolutely versatile. You can use this um, as a regular salad dressing on any salad you like. You can make um, a rice salad, pasta salad, seafood salad. You can use this as a dip. Um, you can actually use this as a marinade as well, quite as it's kept. It's really, really versatile. And it will last in the refrigerator for about mm, five days. Some people allow their salad dressings to last for about seven days. Uh, I'm, I'm not the one, if the truth be known. So about five days. Absolutely brilliant, guys. I'm gonna show you how to make this. To make a rose tahini or rose water and tahini dressing, it's really simple. We're gonna start with some of the basics that we know, which are oil. Oops, and the lid's off of that which are oil. I'm going to use avocado oil and some white wine vinegar. I'll be using some salt, some salt, some black pepper, uh, some honey, and that's raw honey. And I'm going to be using some rose water and of course tahini which actually are sesame seeds. I believe unroasted, don't quote me. I believe unroasted sesame seeds that have been pounded into a paste, much like how you would get um, peanut butter. I'm also gonna use my secret ingredient, which this is a liquid smoke, and I'm gonna use apple wood smoke. It is um, a very mild, it's mild. It, it, it doesn't have the kind of kick that mesquite or cherry wood um, has. And so I'm gonna use, as I said, I'm gonna use uh, the apple wood. We need three tablespoons of oil. And how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do the oil first. That's three tablespoons of oil. Okay. And then we need two tablespoons of honey. It makes it so much easier if you put the honey in to your spoon or whatever. After you've done the oil, the honey releases from the spoon that much easier. See, like that. You can actually use, um, you can use maple syrup if you prefer. I need two tablespoons of vinegar. And if I didn't say that before, I had approximately two teaspoons of uh, uh, fresh garlic. Okay, so two tablespoons of vinegar, need some salt. And that's about half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I need some black pepper. And you can put as much or as little as you like. I need my tahini. And that's a couple of tea tablespoons of uh, tahini. And I need one teaspoon of the rose water. And this is a uh, uh, needless to say culinary rose water. Don't get the two confused. It just, it, 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 it's really amazing what it does. You know, the kind of, 
a flavor it brings. There you go, an eighth of a teaspoon of liquid smoke. All right, guys. So we're gonna whisk this up to make a really nice, creamy dressing. Let's get all this out of the way. And there you have it. Really easy, really simple, really flavorful. A beautiful, rich, creamy tahini and rose water dressing. And this tastes absolutely delicious. And as I said, guys, you can use this to make a corn, corn salad, which is what I'm gonna make use. I'm gonna cut some fresh corn off of the cob. And so I'm gonna use that to make a corn salad. You can use this to make a rice salad. You can use this as a dip, it's versatile. You can keep it in the refrigerator for four to five days. So guys, this is my tahini rose water salad dressing and it is absolutely delicious. And it makes almost, um, almost a cup, almost a cup. This is how we're gonna store it in the refrigerator in a, that's a mason jar, mason jar uh, with a nice tight fitting lid. And we'll store it in the refrigerator until we are ready to use it.